So welcome everybody to Mess of Branch Outdoors, Big Mess. And today we're going to tie a sexy, sexy, sexy mop fly. A fly that if you're not tying and you're not fishing with, you're missing out. So let's get started. I'm going to remove the one I have here. I'm going to take a number 12 Hannock 450BL with a 3.5 Hannock fluoro slotted tungsten bead. And we're going to secure that there into my Norvice ply tying system. The next step is I'm going to grab my auto bobbin that I have some that fluoro red Semperfly thread on it there. We're going to get a thread base started here, get that locked down. And we're going to rock and roll. Appreciate everybody who commented and liked the last video and the fly suggestions as well. Love to hear from you. Love to know where you're at and what you're tying. So I'm going to take a piece of Rain-X, and you heard me. This is a Rain-X window mate. It is in the cream color. Make sure you get the cream. This is the hardest one to find. But if you can find the cream, this is the creme de la creme there for you. So what I've done is I've taken and off camera, I just stripped off those fibers and I have exposed the cord. And what we're going to do next is with my bobbin spun counterclockwise, we're going to come in here. We're going to capture those like so. Now I want to make some wraps down the shank of the hook, just like this. And then I'm going to kind of bend those back and wrap over top, securing those in place. Take my Dr. Slick scissors, come in there just like that. And we've got that secured. I'm going to put a little half hitch in there. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to lay a thread base down here. I'm just going to rotate my vise back, lay down a thread base. I am going to leave room at the bead because I'm going to do this different. Cool thing about mop flies, you can tie them any way you want to. Good friends with a gentleman who invented this mop flies years ago down in Bryson City, Jim Estes. Does not get the credit he deserves, but these are amazing. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some dirty bug yarn from Simper Fly. If you're not using this material for nymphs or dry flies, you're really missing out, folks. This one here is uh, Dirty Pell Olive. Mix the colors up. Go crazy, folks. Go crazy with these materials. Do not get stuck into a corner. Then make sure you stick around to see the product here at the end as well and an announcement that I'm going to have for you folks. So we've got that locked in place too, just like that. I'm going to put in a half hitch. If you noticed, I built up a little bit of a taper. Whether that's important or not, that really doesn't matter. And what I like to do is I'm going to start wrapping this. I'm going to go in behind the mop material just like so. And then I want to come in front of it. I went a little bit premature there. My apologies, folks. No one's perfect. Let's come in here right quick. Let's go ahead and make a wrap in front like that. And then I'm going to go under. I want to come in front just like that. Now I'm going to wrap this bad boy up. My apologies. So I can go slow, or if you want to, you can whip it up there really fast like that. So I'm going to leave some space there. So I want to back that off just a smidge. Then one of the cool things about Norvice is I have that locked at an angle where I can bring my auto bobbin over. I'm going to capture that material like so. I didn't have to make a full wrap rotation. Wham, that's locked in place. I want to reach in there, snip that off. And by keeping it also, but not like trimming off small pieces, I can keep that on the spool and I can maximize how much use I'm going to get out of that. So the next thing I've done is I have prepared a couple of CDC feathers uh, for you folks. And what I use is a magic eraser. There are the Marc Pettigian clips, if I'm saying that correctly, Marc Pettigian, Pettigian. There, um, no gentleman who does that, but I'm going to take and make a dubbing loop. So I'm going to take my fingers. I'm going to make a loop. Going to close the loop. Boom, 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 boom. Come in here, get in a half hitch, get that over out of the way. And as we progress throughout the season here for us, so uh, obviously winter, focusing more on nymphs. We get into springs, we'll start to focus on dry flies. Then we'll transition into terrestrials. 
and I'll probably really work on some stuff that works here in the, uh, you know, the mountains of North Carolina, the fly fishing trail, things like that. So what I've done there, as you've seen, I took my CDC, I slid it inside that loop. We're going to twist it up. You can make this collar as big as you want or as thin as you want. You don't have to use CDC. You don't have to use anything. You can use dubbing if you want to do a dubbing loop. You could use uh, Brahma hen um, as well. You do you. So I'm going to rotate that up. I'm going to stroke those fibers backwards just like that. I'm going to go ahead and just finish that collar. I'm going to really pull it. It's in there behind that bead. Then I'm going to bring my thread over. I'm going to capture, as you see, fundamentals. So I'm teaching you techniques. So you can go apply this to anything you're doing. That's all what fly tying is, is learning techniques. And once you learn those techniques, you get those thread manipulation mastered, uh, you know, attaching different types of materials. Now you can create whatever you want to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slide a half hitch in here just like this. Whammo, beautiful. And then I'm going to take my whip finisher. And I'm going to do a couple of whip finishes. Put that down in there behind that bead. Know your breaking strength of your thread as well. That's going to build up a nice collar on there just like that. And we have created an awesome, awesome bead there for you. Just like that. Not a bead, but we've created a pretty cool fly, I should say. Um, hot spot. Thank you folks for sticking around. Make sure you're following with all these social media uh, things there. That's going to pop up on the screen. But for you folks that made it to the end, thank you very much. I want to let you know that I will be tying at the Norvice booth in Atlanta at the Fly Fishing Show. That's the first weekend in February. It's around the, the 4th. Stop by and see us there at the Norvice booth. Uh, we'd love to see you there at that. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know where you're from. Keep supporting the channel. Help us grow, baby. Help us grow. Thank you, folks. I hope you all have a great day. Catch some fish. Big mess. See ya.